What's up everyone? Thanks for checking out this video, and you're watching Woodworking World Creations. Have you guys seen those awesome and shining wood pendants? Well, it's a fascinating craft, and is currently running in the trend. The good thing about them is the supplies needed to make them are incredibly cheap, and yet the look appears very rich in texture and feel. So today in this video, you'll learn how to turn the scrap pieces of wood into nice jewelry that everyone will adore. What are we waiting for then? Let's begin. So first, grab a block of wood for your pendant, which should look nice and clean because it's the core part of the jewelry. Some other gear that you'll need during the process. Number one, casting resin. Number two, transparent tape. Number three, a vise or something else to break the wood. Number four, a table saw. Number five, several grits of sandpaper. Number six, belt sander. Number seven, an eye hook. So once you're ready with these supplies, then we can get started. So the piece of wood that we've selected here has already been made thinner so that it can easily be snapped into two parts. Yes, we will snap this wood into two for making the pendant necklace. To precisely cut the wood into two parts, we've made this little mark here as you can see. Once you've done this, then we'll finally break the wood. So, we're going to use this vise here, along with these three blocks of wood. Two pieces of these wood will be placed at one side and the last piece on the other side to get the good snap. Okay, now let's set this whole apparatus here. Once you've set the apparatus, then it would look something like this. Now, let's activate this and punch off the wood nice and easy here. It's got the first snap, and we'll flip it around again to break it from the other side as well, so that we don't bend the fibers. See, it's quite easy and nicely done. Well, if you guys don't have a vise, then you can even make use of a 25 kilogram dumbbell. Wanna see how? So, just place and arrange these three wood pieces in the H shape, where the pendant wood is acting as a bridge. Now smash this using a hammer and another wood piece. Feel free to repeatedly make the hits if necessary. So now you know how to break the wood. Let's play around with resin now. Okay, now it's time to do something creative here. We have two pieces of wood and tape with us, so let's bind them together. We're using the tape to connect the two pieces together. Just put the pieces on the tape and wrap it around the wood. It's a very easy job. Later on, we'll fill up this gap we created using tape and casting resin. So now, this doesn't look perfect, but don't worry, because we'll sand this block down. If any ripples or imperfections will be there, then Sandy will take care of it. Okay, now let's fill the gap with resin. You can grab a blade and cut a hole around this tape to fill this up with resin. A square cut will be recommended by the way it's been done here. You can grab a blade and cut a hole around this tape to fill this up with resin. A square cut will be recommended the way it's been done here. Once you've made this cut, then you can pour the resin in it, but we'll be using the casting resin along with an activator. We'll mix these two together in the proportion of 30 mils of resin and eight drops of activator. So now take a cup like this and pour 30 mils of resin and eight drops of activator. After that, make sure to mix them thoroughly. If these two don't blend properly, then the solution won't set the way it should. Let's pour this solution now, but we won't use it all in one go. We'll slowly drop the resin so that all the cracks are nicely covered. Do you see this? Once the hard areas have been taken care of, then you can fill in this entire region. Okay, so if you find a toothpick laying around, then pick it up, because it's going to help us now. 
We're using this toothpick to eliminate any air bubbles present here so that a better design finish can be left behind. Now wait for one day until the resin becomes hard enough. One more thing guys, make sure that you keep the block on the silicone mat so the resin isn't spilled around and makes your desk messy. Once the resin is hard enough, then you can remove the tape because we have to proceed to the sanding part now. Here you can see that a belt sander is being used to polish the block and shape it nice and smooth. Once you're finished with sanding on the belt sander, then you'll achieve the sharp edges and perfect rectangular shape for the pendant. It's looking great, but you know what? We can shine this structure up further with hand sanding to make it look even better and bold. To go with this hand sanding, we'll need sandpapers of five grit sizes. Grit size 120, grit size 150, grit size 280, grit size 400, grit size 600. Get yourself ready with these varieties, and once we're done with sanding the block using these five different sandpapers, then we'll go to the micro mesh. The micro mesh starts at 1500 and goes all the way down to 12,000 as you can see right here. Get our personal library with over 16,000 wood plans. Link is below in the description. Okay, now let's cut the talk and finish up with the sanding part. We'll first run our block over the five different sandpapers that we've collected. Don't go too rough or too slow. Just keep the movement even and stable while doing the sanding with your hands. Since we're done with this, let's transit to micro mesh now. Most people recommend using micro mesh with water, but please remember that since wood is involved here, we'll try to avoid it so that the block does not lose its shape. So we're just going dry here with micro mesh, and it would take some time, but all that weight would be worth it. Do this job for a few hours until you turn your block into something like this. Yes, hard work pays off, and we can see it right here. Now we've almost completed this incredible piece of jewelry. We've cut off the upper portion of the block using a bandsaw and the little part from the bottom as well so that it achieves a nice compact look. Now, let's put the tiny and shiny eye hook over the top of this beautiful wood pendant to make it usable. Voila! Just have a close look over this and you'll simply fall in love with it. Just add the baller chain of your choice and it's ready. Okay guys, that's it for today, and we really hope that you liked this video. Get our personal library with over 16,000 wood plans. Link is below in the description. Please give it a big thumbs up and do let us know of your opinions or any suggestions in the comments section and we'd love to work around them. We're putting a lot of effort into bringing the finest content for you all. So stay tuned and keep watching Woodworking World Creations. Thanks everyone!